Welcome to 10 Minecraft packs you should be using in your survival worlds. All of the packs we are checking out today do not disable achievements. The first one in today's video is called Animated RGB Inventory GUI Plus XP and this is created by Chris X Alt. And what this does is make your hotbar and your creative or survival inventory RGB. Now this is one of my all-time favorite packs. It just looks really cool and it's visually pleasing. It gets even better though because when you gain experience, even your XP bar becomes the rainbow effect as well. So the more levels you get, the more visually pleasing this becomes. So let's get to around about like 10 levels. I can show you this. It's hard at the start because obviously you gain XP really easily as you can see here. We've nearly got a full XP bar there and you can see how awesome it is. This is what your survival inventory is going to look like. So yes, you can see through your inventory, which is also incredibly useful because if a creeper is trying to sneak up on you, it's got no chance because you can see everything. Same applies to your creative inventory. It also has this RGB effect. Now I understand not everybody is into this RGB effect and it can be a little bit too much sometimes for your eyes. If you're not interested in the RGB UI, you are able to just have the XP bar. So as you guys can see here, there is an alternative separate pack created by the same dude who just gives you the rainbow XP. So if you wanted to have just your ordinary hotbar, but you still wanted to have some kind of RGB, that's the next pack. Having rainbow colors is pretty cool, but check this out. What I bring you today is a durability viewer. And what happens is when you tap on any tool or armor, anything that can lose durability, it will pop up on the top right of your screen telling you your durability. Not only that, you can also see the durability number on the actual weapons and tools in your hotbar. Let me show you for example. So we'll break a couple of things here. You can see in real time that it's going down very, very slowly. So what's gonna happen here is it's gonna go back up a little bit because we're gaining some XP. So this is one of my favorite ones because sometimes when you're mining in Minecraft, you can never tell when your item is about to break fully. You know it's really low, but you don't know how many hits you have left. And as you guys can see here, the durability is down to 120. Well, let me show you what happens when you get this under halfway. All right, so red durability 66, and you can see the color of this is still green. I've also put efficiency on this because I want to show you. So let's get this under halfway. We're getting this quite far down. You'll start to see that the colors start to change. And the further you go down, it's going to be like a red warning to say, hey, this is going to break very, very soon. So you need to be careful. You can see it's starting to get a little bit darker in color. We're going to get this to around about 30. See if it's any different. As you guys can see, it's getting darker. We keep on going until we get to around about 20. Let's have a little look here. It's like, hey, you need to go and repair me now. So this one is really helpful for your high-end tools, netherite and diamond, because watch what happens when we go towards this XP. You can see it's now full durability, and then we can use it again, and this pickaxe is at 131 again. And then the process begins once again. And this applies to literally everything. As you can see, there's a durability for my helmet, chest plate, leggings, boots, your pickaxe, your swords, your shovels, your axes, your bows, things like crossbows, shields, and even things like your fishing rod. So yeah, get this one installed if you're not using it already. This next one is a damage indicator. As you can see, it's displaying 20 health points and even a health bar for this poor creeper. When we hit it once, you can see not only do numbers appear, but it also reduces the creeper's health in real time. It's gone from 20 to 11, and this is kind of halfway. We hit it again. Very similar to the durability viewer. You can see it in real time, but again, the colors will change. And obviously, when we hit this, it dies. Now, this kind of pack is super helpful for things like iron golems. Now, one beneficial thing here is, as you can see, the iron golem has a lot of health, and it has the cracking effect now. But even when you repair this, you can see it's giving the experience back. Now there's a couple of different options with this because I know not everybody's gonna like having this green bar. 
There is actually an alternative option with this. Let me show you. So the damage indication comes with heart plus health bar. It also has heart value and also the health bar. For me specifically, I prefer to just have the heart's value. And that will just display the mob's health above its head rather than having this green floating thing as well. But if you like the green health bar, you can actually have either both of them together, hearts on their own, or just the green health bar. And the same rules apply here as we're attacking this iron golem, poor things getting injured incredibly bad. The colors don't change here, but then again, when you give it the iron ingot, it repairs it. And this rule also applies for other mobs. So if you were hitting a poor sheep here, but then you wanted to throw some splash potions on it and heal it, obviously you're able to do that and it will gain two as well. And this will display the health bar for pretty much all mobs. So like the first pack I showed you, this is just visually pleasing. This is called Cool Totems, created by a friend of mine called Stark TMA. And all it does is simply changes your totem to a different thing, such as Baby Yoda, or you can change it to a Wither, a Witch, Steve, a Squid, a Spider, a Slime, a Shulker Totem, Illager, Guardian, Golem, Ghast, Enderman, Creeper, Blaze, Bat, or even just a regular one. We're going to show you the Baby Yoda one. So just head over to your creative inventory and just type in Totem. And as you can see, we have a Totem of Undying, which is, of course, a Baby Yoda. So we're just going to grab this. I'm going to put this in my offhand, and I'm going to show you what happens when I die. Got some beautiful scenery here. Let's go to forward slash game mode survival and let's see what happens. As you can see, Baby Yoda pops up on your screen. This time we have chosen the Creeper Totem. Same rules apply. What you gotta do is put this in your offhand, enjoy the beautiful scenery, and change your game mode to survival and watch the Creeper pop up. Just like that. A very popular YouTube series at the moment is called I Survived 100 Days in Minecraft. Now to count those days on Minecraft Bedrock Edition, it's been a little bit difficult until now. As you can see on the top left of my screen, it says I've survived one day in Minecraft. Now what this pack does is count your days for you alongside your entities. Now you're able to disable the entities if you just want to have the day counter, no problem at all. So if we do forward slash time set night, we got ourselves in bed and we sleep. Obviously it's gonna update and obviously tell us that we've survived two days. In real time, we've now survived two days in Minecraft and this will just keep counting and counting. Now the best thing about this is even if you apply this pack to an already created world, it will update and tell you how many days you have survived. This is my underground survival series. And as you can see, to date, I have survived 2,249 Minecraft days, which is a lot of hours in a survival world. I'm pretty sure some of you have probably survived a lot longer than me. But also in this world, you can see that I have the durability viewer as well. I also have the RGB XP and a couple of other packs that I'm going to show you. Again, there is two different options here. You can have this one, which is day and entity counter, or you can just have the day counter only. That's totally up to you. Also a very helpful one, very similar to the day counter is this. OSCC, on screen, compass and clock. This one's really good if you go mining. Days on the left, compass and clock on the top right. And yes, they update in real time. So as I start to turn around, you can see the compass is also starting to move as well. Now this can be incredibly helpful if you get lost. But how I benefit from this is typically using the clock when I'm mining during nighttime. I don't want to be carrying around a compass and I don't want to be carrying around a clock. I think they're great items in Minecraft, but just having them on the top right is just so much more beneficial. Honestly, I think this kind of thing should be a feature by default. So if we do forward slash time set nighttime, the clock spins and goes to the other side, which indicates 
that is nighttime. And like I said, it's really helpful if you're going to do a bunch of mining. It's like, okay, I've done a lot of mining, but what time of day is it? You know, I don't want to be coming from negative 64 all the way up to, just to see if it's daytime or not. Obviously, I'm going to spend the rest of my time mining at nighttime. And then as soon as that sun comes up, phone says time set day, then I know it's my time to resurface. So I love this one. And having the day counter and having the compass and clock on at the same time is just absolutely brilliant. Both of these packs have a little settings option. We'll start off with the variety hunger and health bar. So this will change your heart and your hunger. As you guys know, they kind of look like these little chicken pieces. You can kind of change them to something completely different. You've got apple hunger. You've got apple hunger plus soft hearts. You've got darker apple hunger bar. You've got bread hunger bar, bread hunger bar and soft hearts, bread hunger and apple health. Let's do bread hunger and apple health to start off with. Now the other one we have here is the custom hots bar. So if you didn't like the RGB one, but you still wanted to have custom hot bar, there's so many options to choose from here. I'm going to start off with the portal rainbow one. Go and check them out. Now, this is also supported on Minecraft Pocket Edition as well. So if you're using the Pocket UI, which I will change and show you as well, you can see my heart are now apples and my hunger is now bread. So let's take a little bit of damage here. You can see how the hearts go down when we're hit by a skeleton. There we go. We lost one apple. Come, come on. He's like the most inaccurate skeleton. There we go. We lost two of them. And then obviously the same applies for your food. And also, if you get hit with the hunger effect, which is obviously the bread, is like moldy bread, and that applies for any of the other ones you want to have. And as you can see, we've kind of like eaten half of the bread. So this one's really cool, and we also have a rainbow hot bar, which I kind of like this one as well. I, this works incredibly well with the RGB XP bar. And like I mentioned, if you like the pocket UI setting, if you like to play the Minecraft this way, you can see on the top left and the top right, that's where my hearts, AKA my apples are located. And on the top right, we have my hunger, AKA my bread. I think this creeper hot bar is a little bit crazy, but I have to admit, I like the melon hunger bar. And as you can see by soft hearts, your hearts are just outlined with a different red rather than a deep black. Something pretty simple, but also visually pleasing as well, like the first one I showed you is colorful slimes. So the colorful slimes literally lets you change the color of your slimes. If you want to black slimes, you can have them. Blue. Light blue, orange, pink, purple, red, white, and even yellow ones. We're just going to go with, let's go with purple slimes. And then the next one I have is called Elytra Models by Dreading. And this gives you so many different options to change your Elytra. So I like, I like the bee ones. We're going to have bee wings. Again, when it comes to things like the slimes, you can just change them on the day, depending on what color you fancied. So yeah, we chose purple here. I mess around with these quite a lot. I kind of like the red ones because red is my favorite color. So the slimes are just visually pleasing to just mess around with. But again, even if you change these now, they would change to a different color. There is your red slimes. So they just switch really easily. I fancy red this time. So we'll keep this little guy as a, as a red slime. I always get bored on my regular Elytra. So let's change it to bee wings. Now check this out because when you fly, it kind of makes you tiny like a bee as well. And I like this one because I like to fly in third person behind view. So it looks like from in front as well. So yeah, like switch up your Elytra. I know there's tons of packs out there that do this, but these ones are just more novelty and really fun to look at. Let's see what other ones you guys might like. If you wanted to go a little bit overboard, you could use dragon wings, which again are animated when you fly. These things are pretty big though, but look really cool when you're flying around with your friends on your servers and in your world. So this one is the one I typically use a lot along with the bee wings. And look at the size of those things. But there's many different options for you to mess around with. The best thing yet, you are able to use the majority of these packs together. We are using the RGB inventory, which again, obviously applies to your creative and survival. I am using 
the wings, which we've chosen the phantom ones. I am using the uh, compass plus clock. The ones that you might need to tweak around with to make sure they all work together is the entity counter. And if we do forward slash game mode S, it looks like my hearts and my XP have also changed as well. So all of these packs should work together. You're just going to have to put them in the right order, which I forgot to do. So I'm sorry. But yeah, that's 10 packs that do not disable achievements in your Minecraft world. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.